Hey friends, as you've probably already guessed from the title of this video, I've been keeping a pretty big secret. One thing you know already is that my series of book babies got released between August and October, but what you don't know is that very shortly after those were published, Ben and I found out that we're having our real baby. <laughs> coming very soon. Oh my gosh. Let's talk about this. So I am currently 12 weeks pregnant, which means I'm just about wrapping up my first trimester, which has been rough. I wanted to explain a little bit that that is why some of you have heard me say like on my newsletter and Instagram that I've been sick a lot lately. And also why you guys here on YouTube have seen some of my most recent videos kind of repurposed from previous longer live streams and kind of cut down to those highlight reels so you can get all the great content without having to watch the long live stream and I've been wanting to try that out and experiment with that a little bit anyway because some of you have requested it in the past but it just seemed like the perfect time to try it out because I've been feeling really crummy and not feeling up to filming longer videos like this so thanks for bearing with me if those weren't your favorite types of content if you did really enjoy them let me know because I think periodically I might throw one into the mix but today uh, in this video I just wanted to catch you guys up on some of the life details that I've been holding back recently and what other fun stuff I have been doing when I have been feeling good, like getting my paperback of my book, all the episodes in my series put into one book, ready for you guys in here. This is a book bow that you can kind of um, keep your favorite books kind of protected when you travel with them. And inside, I'll just give you a really quick peek, um, is the paperback of my book. So we're gonna also talk about this a little bit too. So here we go. First, I figured I'd answer some questions you guys are probably having about Baby Wang. I have a few listed on my phone here, so I might reference those. But the first question I have is, when did we find out? And it was really funny because like I said, I had just gotten through publishing all of the episodes in my serial that will then be in the paperback. Well, it was the week that I was publishing episode six. So I think it was, it was published on Tuesday, but um, on that Sunday, I can't even remember exactly why, but I was like, I think I'm gonna take a pregnancy test. <laughs> and um, I took one, it was, Slight, slight pink, but it was there. This was something I was both really excited to see and also like very surreal to see. So Ben came home later that day and I was like, I have something to show you. And Tuesday, the same day that episode six was releasing was also his birthday. So he was like, I don't want you to give me a birthday present early. Cause I had kind of said like, hey, like I have a couple things for you. Would you like one early? And he was like, no, no, no. So I was like, no, 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 it's not a birthday present. Well, maybe kind of, but I want to show you something. So I showed him the pregnancy test and we were both like, oh my gosh, like, is this real? And what they say is to wait a couple days and then test again. So on Tuesday, on the day that episode six was releasing, I was like, okay, let's test. And of course I'm supposed to have like this live stream later to celebrate the release and I'm putting up Instagram posts and I'm like trying to also focus on the fact that I've just released an entire series and be excited about that. But we did the pregnancy tests and it basically looked the same. And so we we're like, okay, I think, I think we're pregnant and um, we should probably call the doctor and set something up just to confirm. So I got through the rest of the day publishing and being really excited about that. And I still wasn't feeling a lot of symptoms. So that was also like, are we really pregnant? Is this real? But it was the very next day, you guys. <laughs> And part of me also thought like, okay, I just pushed myself really hard to release six books in the span of like two and a half months. So I'm obviously exhausted, but it was like the very next day that I started feeling so bad and so out of it and so exhausted. And if I hadn't taken a pregnancy test again, I probably would have thought that it was just like, like publishing hangover, but it was definitely more than that. And I think it was a couple days later, a week later, we got into the doctor and they confirmed that we were pregnant. And and it was just like this very cool situation because it's never the perfect time to have a kid. <laughs> like that's what people keep telling us. Like if you wait for the perfect time to have kids, if you want kids, it'll just never be there. But this was like probably the most perfect it could be because if we had gotten pregnant during the time that I was publishing and I had started feeling the symptoms I've been feeling for the last three months or two and a half months, I would have just probably not been able to finish publishing because I just... Ugh, it was so bad. That being said, we're still really excited. It's just been a lot to like 
kind of keep up and then not be able to tell you guys and not be able to explain why I haven't been around as much or why things have looked a little different. So anyway, I'm just really glad it's out in the open. So the second question you might be asking is who did we tell if we haven't told for the last three months? And um, we did tell our parents and we told some extended family and a couple of really close friends. Are you in there? Yeah. All right, yeah, everybody so everybody's sitting. Everybody smile and say, Brittany's pregnant! Yeah! <laughs> But we didn't want to tell too many people past that because they say, even though miscarriage could happen at any point in a pregnancy, that you're far less likely after the first trimester. So we're really excited that we've made it this far. At this point, again, I'm 12 weeks, but when you're watching this, I'm going to be like 13 weeks in a couple days, maybe. So, but it was really great to have the support of a couple of close family and friends. And now we're really excited for everybody to know. Now I've talked about this a little bit, but another question you guys might be having is how am I feeling? And I'll just say, even though I've said it's really bad. It could definitely be worse. I've heard plenty of horror stories from other people that have told me all these things, especially in the first trimester, how they feel. And though it hasn't been fun for me, it could definitely be worse. I mean, I've been exhausted, nauseous. Um, not everybody gets this, but I've been getting like metallic kind of taste in my mouth that basically colors most of everything that I eat. So it's like a lot of people when they're not feeling well, sometimes they'll eat comfort food and my comfort food tastes weird. So I've been eating, but it hasn't been a super enjoyable experience all the time. So that's probably like the worst thing for me is just constantly being like, what is this weird taste in my mouth? People also say that like when you get pregnant, sometimes like acne clears up and you're like glowing and like all this stuff. And at least for me in the first trimester, that was not the case more acne, just more just feeling terrible. Like sometimes your hair gets thicker. My hair has been falling out. <laughs> anyway, that might be TMI, but just in case you're wondering how I've been feeling, I've been feeling a lot better lately and I'm very, very thankful for that. And usually they say in the second trimester that you feel the best during the whole nine months. And then the third trimester, you start getting really big and start swelling and feeling exhausted again. So anyway, second trimester, I'm like really hoping and already feeling like it's going to be a lot better. We're also really thankful that everything is good so far. I'm healthy, baby's healthy, baby is developing well. So we're really, really thankful for that. And if you're wondering, I don't like have a baby bump bump, but like I do kind of have a little bit of a bump. I'm already feeling bloated and kind of bigger. So even now I'm, I'm constantly in maternity shirts and leggings and just trying to be comfy at all times of the day. The final question you might be asking is, do we know the gender yet? Do we have a name for them? Short answer is we don't know yet. Um, we have been thinking about names, which has been really fun. My friend Allie was actually telling me about some apps that help you uh, find names for your baby. And there's this one called Kinder that is basically like a dating app where you see the name and if you like it, you swipe one way. And if you don't like it, you swipe the other. But the absolute best part is that you can sign up with your partner and they have a linked account so whenever you both say that you like a name separately it alerts you and so that way it's kind of fun because then there's absolutely no pressure when you're like liking or disliking a name and then it's only when you match that you're just excited and you're like oh we actually both like this name this is helpful but until we know the gender um some people call their baby their little bean or they come up with cute names and i think we've decided that we're gonna call our little baby our little dumpling which is kind of fun because ben is asian we love eating Asian food and dumplings. And if you've seen the Pixar short Bao, if you haven't seen it, you definitely should because it's adorable and also so moving. It always makes me and Ben cry, but it is just the cutest little thing. And it's totally not going to make sense to you unless you watch it. And if you have watched it, you know exactly what I mean, but it kind of relates to why we're calling our little baby our little dumpling too. The last thing I'll say about baby stuff before we move on to more writerly things and like future things is that if you are a writer mama, if you're a published author or just writing and trying to get your first book done. I would love to connect with you if you just want to let me know in the comments, hey, I'm a writer mama. And um, if you have a YouTube channel, I would love to go check it out and just feel like I have a few more writer mamas that I can kind of bond with during this time. Or obviously if you're pregnant right now and going through the process with me, um, please let me know. Okay, so what about non-baby slash writer stuff? What's going on with that? Obviously things have been a little slower for me. NaNoWriMo, I was definitely a super rebel. I'll say a little bit of what I did during that. But the biggest thing I've been working on is the paperback. I just wanna give you guys a couple of stats about this, but I'm sharing even more in a video that's coming very soon. Obviously, again, the book is inside. I'm not gonna be revealing the cover yet, but the cover is designed by the same designer who did all my ebook covers. Again, her name is 
Hillary Barden, or you can find her at rebarden over on Instagram. She's amazing. If you're wondering how I formatted it, I used a program called Vellum, which I am in love with after having to do the formatting for all the eBooks by myself without a formatting program. I'm definitely using Vellum for like all my future stuff. Obviously, I also got the proof copy. So this is not the final final, but it is a proof copy that I did an unboxing video for that is going to be coming out soon. In that video, you'll get to see the cover and get some stats about what's inside, like more about the map and how I used actually the cover art from the episodes inside the book a little bit in a fun way. But if you want to see all this stuff early, I'm going to be sharing it with my patrons and even a little bit with my newsletter subscribers. So you can definitely check out those down below. And if you have any other questions that maybe I didn't think of that you'd like to see me answer in the unboxing video, I could always add a couple extra frames with answering your questions at the end as well. So let me know that down in the description too. But Oh, I cannot wait to show you guys this book. I think it came out so cool. And I know a bunch of you have been waiting to actually read the series until it's in this form. So it is coming. Speaking of other things coming, what is the future gonna look like for me, for my books, for this channel? And obviously I have to say, I don't know. I do have thoughts I'm gonna share with you, but this is like a life-changing, life-altering experience. So we're gonna kind of have to go step by step along and I'm definitely gonna keep you guys updated as we go. The good news is that that second trimester, I should be feeling a lot better. So that's three months of feeling pretty darn good. And so I'm hoping to get a lot done in that time. Obviously, I want to release the paperback, which I don't know, I think I said, but I'm shooting for January, which would be great. During NaNoWriMo, I also started kind of taking my former outlines that I had kind of put together for the sequel of this series. Um, I started working on it like two years ago or something. And so I pulled that back out. And during NaNoWriMo, I really tried to flesh it out. And I'm working on a synopsis that I can hand over to my critique partners and see what they think so I can tighten some things up before I start drafting. Going through this process before you start drafting is a really helpful tip that I actually shared in a recent YouTube video, which you can check out. I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it yet. But that's the goal for that. I also want to look into audiobook options because that is something I would really love to do for this series. And I think if I can do a lot of the groundwork while I'm feeling really good, then I can kind of prod away at that the rest of the year, especially when baby comes. And a fun thing I kind of want to try that I've been avoiding for a while is also maybe branching out to TikTok and talking over there more about reading and books and sharing about my books more. And so if you're on TikTok, let me know. I think I'm going to be calling myself over there Brittany Wang Books. I haven't created the account yet, but if I have by the time this video is out, I'll link it down below if you want to follow me. And I'd love to also check out your guys' accounts. But that's like a fun kind of experimental thing that I'd love to do too while I'm still feeling really good. And then for YouTube, come Coming up soon is obviously going to be that paperback unboxing because it's the end of the year. I usually do a end of the year recap of how this last year went of my goals and different things like that. And then looking to 2022, which again is going to look kind of different, but setting goals for that. I usually talk about my goals planner that I give to my patrons that you can also check out. So I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of that as well. And I also have a bunch of other topic ideas that I shared with my newsletter subscribers recently and got you guys to vote on those. So I'm taking stock of the ones that were most voted on and going to be sprinkling those in between December and January and beyond. Some of those are finally taking you guys behind the scenes of how I use Notion to now organize a lot of my to-do lists and a bunch of other helpful things I need to do as a writer. And another top one was how to create compelling characters using the Enneagram and doing like a deep dive on that because I talked a little bit about that in a live stream a few weeks ago, but um, it'd be really cool to kind of break that down for you guys even more. And if you guys have any specific video idea requests, I always love getting those. You can put those down in the description. But yeah, that's a lot of my updates. Hopefully you guys enjoyed hearing some of that. And if you are a writer mom, I would love to connect with you. If you'd like to check out my books, those are linked down below. Or if you want more writerly tips, check out my website or these videos here. And until next time, me and Dumpling will see you in the next video. Bye!